All right, today we're going to demonstrate for you uh, this Agathon carbide tool grinder. This is a DIA uh, 175. It's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. You've got uh, two diamond wheels mounted on a spindle with a central belt that goes down underneath and motor and coolant system are located in the cabinet below. So each wheel has a right side and a left side. Uh, you don't grind on the face of the wheel. So you have a fixture here which is designed to hold like a carbide uh, tool for a lathe or a boring bar or whatever it is that you want to uh, sharpen. We've got some splash guards. I'm just going to take them out of the way. Put them over here. Uh, you've got some guards that come down when you want to use them. You've got a light up here. And so you have this fixture. This fixture can be adjusted in many ways. Uh, it's got a little handle here that you hold up and you can uh, do some fine adjustments with this, with this tail stock on the end here. Also you have a micrometer adjustment over here that you can finally drive, uh, feed yourself into the grinding wheel uh, so you can really control uh, how much pressure you're putting on the carbide. Um, <clears throat> this fixture here can be slid up and down this bar so you could work either on the outside or inside or the outside or inside of any of the two wheels. It's got a lot of travel. Uh, you've got movement this way. You've got movement this way. Uh, so it's got all kinds of movements to make all kinds of angles uh, for you to dry, uh, grind your tool bit. Well, that's basically it. Um, again, the coolant system is located in the bottom machine is 220 volts. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. You've got uh, right now, uh, as long as it's um, plugged in, the grinding wheels are locked uh, magnetically through the spindle motor. Uh, so if you wanted to rotate the wheel or change the wheel, uh, you would hit this button here and that, that unlocks your magnet. Right, now you're ready to start it. To shut it off, you hit the red button. If you just wanted to start it from a dead, you don't have to go here, you just go here, that automatically unlocks it. And here, of course, is your emergency stop. When you hit that, the lock automatically comes on again. So we take that out. If we want to just spin the wheel, then you can take the lock off. When you want to start it, you start it up. So that's the Agathon Daya uh, 175. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Alright, so I also wanted to mention that we do have as an optional piece of tooling uh, this Agathon made, Swiss made uh, collet holding fixture here. So what would you do is you put your collet in there, tighten it up with the drawbar. You have some index, uh, index ring here with uh, three or four, four different uh, positions. Um, this would come off the top of here and this stud will go down and fit on there and then the rest of this all works the same way. So this is additional. If you're interested in this, you contact your salesman. Um, this would be nice to have if you're doing like carbide drills and you have to uh, sharpen them somehow or something that would need a tool like that. Uh, we also have down below here the coolant tank I was telling you about. There's the pump motor back there. And we have this flat uh, platform here. Again, you would loosen this handle here and lift this uh, top piece off and you could just have this flat thing so you could put different types of uh, cutting tools on there and kind of hold them by hand up against the edge of the diamond wheel. So that's, all, that's part of the package here. The other item is uh, optional. Uh, you speak to your salesperson about that. Okay, thank you very much.